What year was your dad born? Tito Puente was born April 20th, 1923. So back then, Damn. I think the car was, was just Aries. invented. There was no television. It was just black and I don't even I think they had black and white. And they had radio. But 1923 in Spanish Harlem, uh, the kids would play outside. And they would go to the Jimmy Pump, which is the fire hydrant, and play outside in the water during the summer. Yeah. And in the winter, they would go outside and play in Central Park. And that would be it. And that and Tito Puente was playing drums at a very early age, uh, thanks to my grandmother, Ercilia Puente, yeah. who raised my father and 25 cents for piano lessons. And dad became a child prodigy after that. Wow. 25 cents for piano lessons. Yeah. yeah. Back in 1924. Six, twenty-seven. He was about maybe seven or eight years old. He took little piano lessons, and he was a dancer too. Tito Puente was a dancer when he first uh, started it. And uh, my aunt uh, danced in dance contests all around Brooklyn and New York City. Yeah. Uh, there were there were little kids at that time, but they had little mambo and cha 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 and rumba contests. And my father would win a couple of them. And so he was a dancer first, and then um, now is this here uh, in Puerto Rico? This was in New York City, okay. in New York City. Now, now my family is from Puerto Rico. They're from San Germán, Puerto Rico, Dale. the Puente Familia. So my grandfather moved from San Germán as an immigrant through Ellis Island in New York and Tremendo. then moved into Brooklyn. Hay mucho, hay mucho hispano, hay mucho puertorriqueño vive allá in Brooklyn, in Williamsburg. Claro, area. claro que sí. So that's where they live. A lot of them there. And hay mucho cubano que se vive allá in New Jersey. A lot of Cubans moved to New Jersey on the yes. Hoboken side, Union City over there. Elizabeth, so, um, yeah. Yeah, Elizabeth as well, yes. And then there were the Puerto Ricans. They moved out to Patterson, New Jersey, all around the five boroughs of Manhattan and, and the tri-state area. But my father was born in Spanish Harlem when they moved from Brooklyn up to Spanish Harlem at that time. A lot of Puerto Ricans kind of moved from out of Brooklyn and into the Manhattan area simply because there was more jobs at that time. Sure. This was probably the Great Depression, you know, back then. 1930s. But, uh, that's then. how he did it. When yeah. they became a child prodigy. My father also was drafted into the Navy, served uh, um, three terms in the World War II on the USS Santee. Wow. And, and dis discharged with honorable mentions. And uh, he never really liked talking about the war, but that's where he really got his skill, you know, to write music because he was on the ship for so many days, you know, and hours at a time that he would start writing, you know, a lot of music at that time. And he graduated and went to Juilliard School of Music. And then after that, boom, took off in 1949, became Tito Puente and his orchestra and started being the best arranger that everybody wanted to be a part of and everybody wanted music from him. The Amazing. history is incredible. And I can't wait to share that in the documentary. Yeah.